Alright guys, I'm making this quick video on my Asus ROG um, GL503V um, So what was happening is all the keyboards were lighting up You can hear um, the CPU and the fan running But there was no display Now believe it or not You can legitly You can legit put way too much thermal paste now my thermal paste, I put a lot, and that's the reason it was getting this error. It was driving me nuts. I've been doing research, people have been saying something about CMOS reset, this, that. None of that works. None of that worked for me. It's, they said put a magnet right here, it's because of the lid sensor, blah blah blah. But when I would close the lid, it would, it would detect it, it would turn off my keyboard, it would turn off my computer go into standby mode or sleep mode when I would open it up all the little keyboard would light up again and um, everything was working so I kind of knew that it wasn't the lid uh, magnetic sensor so I just went back in opened it up um, there was way too much thermal uh, paste so Arctic 5 of course the good stuff I applied what I did is I just um, put a blob in the center and I spread it out thinly all around to cover the whole area. Um, some people say that that overflows, but depends how much you put. If you put a light amount, it shouldn't overflow. I did that to the GPU and the CPU. And, um, and look, first try, it booted back up. I'm so glad. So if you're getting the black screen and everything's running fine, your LED, now, um, please don't ask uh, how to do it if your keyboard is not lighting up or whatnot. If you can hear the CPU in the background, you can hear the fans running, then I would suggest maybe you just redid the thermal compound. I would suggest go back in, take it off, take your time, use some of this uh, on a rag or something. Use this electronic cleaner, spray it on the rag, and then clean around it. Clean it very nicely. Um, remove it from the copper end as well from the uh, heat sink um, apply a new layer very thin just put a blob in the center and then you can just put it on top or you can spread it out nice and evenly a thin layer and look at that first try and it boots up the screens working again so hopefully uh, this method uh, helps you guys resolve your issue